From a writing standpoint, Goldrot starts to do something now in chapter 36 that he hasn't done previously in the book, and he's going to keep doing it through the close. And that's, he, he lays out five big steps in order to apply the theory of constraints. And that step one is identify the system's constraints. Step two, decide how to exploit those constraints. Step three, subordinate everything to the above decision that you made in step two. Step four, elevate the system's bottlenecks. And the final step is, if you're in a previous step, a bottleneck has been broken, go back to step one. And he rephrases it a little bit in chapter seven, uh, in chapter 37. Um, and in chapter 37, he's gonna add a little bit of a sub note and say that make sure you avoid the inertia you made in steps one through four, so you don't keep making the same mistake. In chapter 35, we started at the plant and then we went home. So Gold, uh, Rogo kind of got to decompress with Julie at the end of the day. Same thing's gonna happen in chapter 36. In, in many ways, it's very much uh, re a re repetition of the layout in chapter 35. You start at the plant, you close at home. Uh, the session at the plant is actually very similar to the session you had previously in chapter 35 and we'll have again in chapters 37, 38, 39, and 40. And that it's kind of this panel discussion with all the team members that have ha helped Alex Rogo get to this promotion that are now helping him with his promotion and planning out what things he's going to do as he rises to the division level. And it's following in the same Socratic method that Goldrot has used to get us here. So from similar, actually, if you've ever read uh, Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, you'll see he kind of takes an argument and then discusses it from all sides. So he gives you the push and the pull, the whys and the why nots. Rogo's really doing the same thing here. Uh, and, or Rogo Goldrot's doing that same, same thing for you, the reader, through, through Rogo's eyes. Um, like these closing chapters, there are some real gems here. Uh, there's some great quotes. And part of that comes through at this point we all feel like we really understand the theory constraints. And then the other thing is uh, Goldrot himself, you can tell from a writing standpoint, is able to put a little bit more weight and put a little bit more nuance to some of the arguments. So he makes some great statements. Um, so again, it's a great chapter. They're all great chapters. Like I said earlier, you really get to the end of the book at chapter 31 and these chapter, chapters 32 and beyond are kind of like the AP version or the advanced version of the topic matter and maybe less relevant immediately. And even you go back and read them years later and really have some nuance to some of the topics that are brought forward and discussed. Uh, but anytime you get to read the goal, anytime you get to use the theory of constraints in your personal life, you get the chance to make the world around you and your own world a little bit better.